<laughs> no, I am not a priest, a vicar, or even a rabbi. What is your name? It's Jamie. Jamie. The cyborgs are making mistakes. They are trying to play at being God. Don't understand what you mean. They are trying to create life, and that will be their downfall. This man, this monster, he is my brother. Oh. I'll admit. There was a time when his savagery was useful to me. Even those who were the worst of what humanity had to offer were terrified of him. I owe my success in a large part to him. There's no denying it. Wonka's right, kid. There's no TV star in you. <laughs> Unfortunately, all your golden ticket winners are far too reckless to be trusted. So, I decided to come here myself, posing as a relative to Violet. The stupid girl actually thought I was her uncle. Hypnotic popping candy. Works a treat. Makes your brain slower so I fit into the rest of the crowd. Your face has come to me now, Slugworth. General, I can't. We haven't got time to argue. They're already here. Make your way down the tunnel, and for the love of God, stay hidden. It's the best I can do to assure your lives are safe and not brutally murdered. Sir, it's been an honor. You've been a fine major. You'll do great others. Now go. Hmm. There's nothing that immediately comes to mind, except for the molecular disorder. The what? The particular chocolate that this fudge is made from has a strange effect when it comes into contact with water. The molecules that it's made up from multiply on and on. So the water in my body met with the chocolate and it increased in size? I would assume so. Oh, uh, how long does the effect last? In so long that the chocolate is in contact with water. I don't know if I can handle this. <clears throat> I'm sincerely sorry for your, um, inconvenience. If I can make it up to you, I can compensate you with whatever samples you wish to take. You mean, I can have whatever I want? Whenever you wish. Oh boy, this may not be so bad after all. 